Welcome back to Let's Play Elsinore. I'm Michael. I'm Cameron. And uh, we're stuck in a time loop. We're looping. Lupin. Lupin the second. The next episode, I guess, will be Lupin the third. Oh. Um, little anime what? joke for the fans, you know. Hmm. Ha. Ha, ha. Yeah, ah, yeah. As, if there's one thing we all know about Cameron, it's that he loves anime. I know all about anime. I'm uh, uh, what you might call an anime genius. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, I'm trying to tell my dad uh, that someone's trying to kill me and that I'm stuck in a time loop. And he's just like, oh, I think you're going mad. And this is a common illness in this castle. Mm -hmm. So that's an interesting thing to say when someone tells you that uh, they're in a time loop. Uh, I will say his outfit, rad. Polonius's outfit? Yeah, he's got a great shirt on. <sighs> Let's listen to what's going on here. Who are these people? Are these from the play? Is Marcellus from the play? Yes, Marcellus is uh, one of the guards, and he is uh, talking with Hamlet. Hmm. Yeah, like he's he's trying to get Hamlet to come down to to listen to Claudius address the court. So, hmm. got some tension there. Come, my lord. <laughs> Play discreetly, my lord. Okay. So it's interesting that we uh, sometimes we get to see like the most macro scenes and sometimes we get to see the most micro scenes. We came in here just to see him say, hey, let's leave this room. Yes. No, I wanted uh, like that was not like I, I, that was not me planning like ah, the we need to see this conversation. Um, they were having a conversation and I wanted to see what it was. So I ran in. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, because you don't really know. I mean, you, you might know if you are very familiar with the play, but realistically. My lady. Oh, you, you might not know. Oh, it's this guy. Uh huh. Mm. Okay. I... Uh oh. Wait. Oh, so Quince remembers the time loop? Yep. So Quince is the murderer. <laughs> well, we're gonna we're gonna do some investigation in this episode. <laughs> See, he's, he, he's, he insists uh, he's only offering his assistance, as he did for King Hamlet once. And this is coming right on Polonius having said that the delusion of being in a time loop seems to be common in the castle. Wait, so was King Hamlet in a time loop? Hmm, we're going to have to find out. Well, he's dead now. Yeah. Mm. And Quince definitely knows more than he's letting on. The playmaster. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, at this point, we might as well point out, uh, we're going to talk to him about some other things. Uh, his design, I don't have, I don't know this for a fact, right? I can't uh, point to a design document that says this. He seems very clearly modeled on another famous video game character, the Happy Mask Salesman from The Legend of Zelda, uh, Ocarina of Time, but also oh, yeah. more, more appropriately, Majora's Mask. Mm, he does have that kind of look about him. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a scamp. Mm -hmm. He's kind of got some weird vibes. Maybe knows more than he's telling you. Was the happy mask salesman the one who was making that moonfall? Uh, no, but it was the happy mask salesman who had Majora's mask and had it stolen from him. Oh. And that is what made the moonfall. Mm. Dang. Yeah. So this is all... Uh, since Quince is not, uh, you know, from this play, none of this is from this play. <laughs> oh, yes. No, no. Basically, anything that happens with Quince is, uh, is going to be original content. He's oh, also see. giving us some hints now about uh, who, who various people are and how they might be, let's say, instrumentalized. Mm, so where we might go and, mm -hmm. and, like, what kinds of conversations we pay attention to. Mm-hmm. Meet me in the gallery after my performance is concluded, and we'll talk. So you get murdered, uh, or Ophelia gets murdered at the same time every day? Yes. If you if you just play it and don't learn anything. Right. Mm. All right. Uh, but what I wanted to do, well, I was going to go say, see Laertes, but uh, now that we've talked to Quince, I've gotten an idea. Uh, the idea I had was your idea, which is, this guy's suspicious. He needs to be looked into, so let's talk to the captain of the guard. Okay. Bernardo Bernardo O'Higgins. Yes. What? What? Hold on. <laughs> hmm. 
Now, how tall is he in relationship uh, to the standard Homer? Um, I would say Bernardo is probably like a head taller than a standard Homer. Mm, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, what would be really interesting is we if we modded we could just mod all of the Simpsons characters into this game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My face. And then have have Marge walking around. Marge would be Ophelia. <laughs> and at the end of every conversation, you get. <laughs> Uh, so now that we've told uh, Bernardo that we have some suspicions uh, about being in danger, we can just report people to the police. Uh, just like uh, tell them to go uh, talk to Bernardo because he wants to talk to them. Huh. So we can like create our own converse or our own. Yeah, you can direct people there, right? Yes, precisely. Uh, and Laertes is still there, so I'm going to go see him. Oh, so you're able to, like, zip through a thing by fast-forwarding time? Yes. Hmm, interesting. I'm in danger! Mm-hmm. Please! So normally Laertes, as, uh, you know, in, in the play Hamlet, Laertes what? wants to go back to school in Paris. Uh, he leaves early on in the play, and then he returns once. Polonius has been murdered by Hamlet in order to take revenge. Uh, but we're, we're going to stop that right now. Oh, because he's not going to leave. Yep. I believe you. Okay. Gotta believe her. I'm in a time loop and I'm being murdered. Oh, mm -hmm. sister. Is dear heart a word from Shakespeare? Uh, it could be. Like, I don't know if it's evidenced within the Shakespearean corpus, but it's, like, <laughs> it's a composite of, of two words that people would have known and said. You know, uh, I've heard that Shakespeare invented roughly 85% of the English language. Mm-hmm, he did. Uh, most of the memes that we use today were invented by Shakespeare. Mm, he uh, he invented Impact Font. Most people yeah. don't know that. That was uh -huh. uh, the frontispiece to Midsummer Night's Dream. And there's a shack. I just looked at that shack to see if there was anything interesting. It told me. Uh, mm. Not really. It told me it was a shack. Some sort of love shack. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Man, it's going to make it real depressing once we find out what's really in there. Oh. <laughs> Is it a rock lobster? <laughs> no, that's under the dock. So we're going back? Okay. Ophelia. Is there a dungeon yeah. under there? There is, and we will go to that dungeon uh, eventually. Oh. Hmm. Dang, Laertes <sighs> getting underneath your investigation. Mm-hmm. I don't want you to get caught up in, in your own murder any more than you. Have. <laughs> <laughs> but he's got he's got some sort of inside goss that we don't, right? He's got someone he can trust. <sighs> is a is an inside uh, parentheses conversation an aside? What is that? Uh, I think it's yeah, it's like people sort of muttering things to themselves usually. Uh, oh, okay, so this this future... Hmm. Okay, so you know what that what, what that is. Like, uh, there's a theatrical play. Yes. But this is something that you don't yet know exactly what happens, right? Well, uh, this is because... This, this is an event that came into my timeline precisely because I just had that conversation with Laertes, and he that, told me that, he's... Yeah. Gotcha, okay. Right. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm. Um, so so people can tell you that things are going to happen, and you, and you might not have all the info about them. Mm -hmm. But I like all this Sims wiggling that all these people are doing. I know, I love it. Uh, the effect is very very good. But uh, the, so you can know something's going to happen, but you don't quite know what it is. But you know who will be there and like what generally, like what's what it's Oop. about. Yes. And then you can wait until you see the exact thing and then you presumably you get more information about it right yep okay. and here's his uh here's his confidant mm. my lady if you don't remember brit from the last episode uh she is uh an attendant Laertes. to the queen and she hates us mm -hmm. she's an oc mm -hmm. to this game and uh a real jackass mm -hmm. my sister. but look at this she and our brother on are in really good terms. Ophelia. Ophelia. Hmm. Damn. You 
gossip. Rude. Hmm. I like this song. The music and sound design in this game, I think, is is just across the board very good. Mm. Real loot jam. Mm -hmm. It's got good vibes. Well, you know, uh, there is a popular king that we like named Stephen King. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can go uh, Google to Just King Things to learn more about it. Uh. <laughs> what? Oh, no. Yeah, it turns out they're, they're a little more than friends. Oh, no. <laughs> and you're in the room. Yep, and we're hiding in the corner. No. Oh, Sometimes gosh. Sometimes you don't want to be invisible. Yeah. This is one of those times. I'm just going to go out on a limb here and say in a general sense, you probably shouldn't probably shouldn't be in a relationship with someone who is really mean to your sibling. Yeah, it's it's a little uh, I don't know if we, like, we just haven't explained to Laertes that Brit hates us or if he doesn't care. Mm -hmm. uh, our working theory is is right now I've decided that it's Claudius who's going to kill us. OK. And why is that? Um, because uh, he believes that uh, she, Ophelia, is uh, a problem for Hamlet. Mm. Uh oh. Now Hamlet is telling us that there is a what? ghost, and it told him that Claudius is a murderer. Ooh. But <sighs> well, didn't we get murdered I after Claudius him. was murdered? What, did that happen last time? Uh, I don't know. Did did Claudius die last time? Is, doesn't he... he get murdered in the church? No, no, oh. that he famously does not get murdered in the church, Cameron. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> like that's the scene where Hamlet says he can kill him. I can kill him right now, and then he doesn't, and then the play oh, goes right. on. I, I'm sorry. I'm I'm conflating that and then him murdering Polonius right afterward. I'm sorry. Yes, yes, yes. Shakespeare's yes. Okay. hard. Like, I don't like it. <laughs> How about uh, that? Oh, but I need, Hamlet. I need, a, I need a blues clue for it to <laughs> look at me, for people to look me dead in the face and say, hey, who got murdered? <laughs> who got murdered? And I have to fill it in. Oh, uh, so Hamlet just told us uh, two things. Um, that there's we get we get a lot of information here. There's a ghost. Uh, mm -hmm. the ghost of old Hamlet is walking around. Hamlet's talked to it, and Hamlet is really upset because he thinks that his mother, well, so the ghost told Hamlet that Claudius killed him. Um, old Hamlet. Mm -hmm. And now Hamlet uh, is really, really concerned that his mother might have known or she might have been involved in some way. So he's tasked us with figuring out how guilty his mother is. Do your own investigation, Hamlet. Although I guess I understand why this game exists because I guess in the play he doesn't. He's not a very good investigator. No, no. That's, that's how the play lasts four hours. Mm-hmm. This isn't the one we can't talk about, right? Uh, is is Macbeth the one where you can't yeah, say? Mac okay, gotcha. Macbeth is the one you can't uh, say the title of, which we've just done twice. So, mm -hmm. well, I'm not going to perform it, so it's okay. Oh, okay. Hmm, Queen Gertrude. Yeah, so now we can, you know, take a look at some of these portraits in the gallery. Something's going to happen here, so we're waiting on that. Hmm. And a lot of this is just, you know, some uh, some color. Like, we get a kind of almost Hamlet's grandmother, Queen Astrid. That's interesting, you know? We've heard a lot about other kings, but not Queen Astrid. And then we got, a, we got a note about it, so <laughs> there'll be more to learn. Hmm. This game is interesting because it can... Um, like the, the the little bits of detail about this that or the other can be almost sort of novelistic in their approach to the world and the characters right just sort of incidental uh details that give people histories and make places feel more lived in uh that aren't always necessarily relevant to what's going on in the plot mm -hmm. well the gamers well, I, I guess two things that are interesting about that number one there's a lot of standing around and waiting in the game so that makes sense mm -hmm. to me 
you know, to give yourself the, the opportunity to explore. And number two, the gamers mm-hmm. love it. They love yeah. lore. Yeah. <laughs> All the yeah. the Hamlet expanded universe. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Irma the cook uh, and a bunch of the guards, including Marcellus, uh, are having a gambling night here and we're hiding and watching. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that's fun. Do you... Uh... Bernardo doesn't like this, though. Oh, Rough wow. and Honors. Uh, those are games that may sound familiar from... Uh, Gaming the Stage by Gina Bloom. Those are two card games that she discusses. Mm, oh, yes. Those games that I remember. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. The fame, like, I know how much you loved the parts of that book on uh, 15th century card games, so. I thought they were perfectly nice. I just don't, uh, they don't come up very often. A gambling ring? Uh-huh. Uh. Ophelia now has leverage on the guards. I'm thinking a little bit about the uh, the Hamlet extended universe and how my favorite part of that would be uh, Hamlet, which would be Hamlet with two A's mm. and his whole story. Oh. So we're just kind of tracking her around, huh? What? Yeah. Oh. Oh. So you see, like she she's really mean and she hates us, but. We, we now know a little something about her. She seems to like this gallery. She seems to like paintings. Mm, yes. Hmm, paintings. Oh. Hmm. Beautiful. Why is she being nice to me now? <laughs> well, we're just just having a good time. We're just a golden idiot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh dang! Ugh. I'm out of here. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it's, it's interesting that this is a game of, uh, that is a mystery that just proliferates mysteries. Yes. No, that is absolutely what it is. Uh, every every major character has kind of their own little thing going on that you'll learn about. I'm really surprised that, like, the gamers are not all over this thing. <laughs> I... I... <laughs> well, if there's one thing the gamers love, it's... Uh narrative mysteries yeah they do they'll spend forever arguing about lord gwyn what's he up to if you like lord gwyn i've got this this fella named hamlet for you <laughs> uh, that's pretty good actually so what i'm trying to do here is uh yeah i want to get into gertrude's room to to certainly <laughs> spy on her mm-hmm. uh but i can't get in because the door's locked and that's why i was trying to be nice to brit <sighs> Well, how's your lockpick skill? Unfortunately, it's uh, zeroed out at the beginning. Ooh, what about your pickpocket skill? <laughs> well, in the end, it will turn out we don't have to pick a pocket to get the the key to that room. Uh, but Brit is giving us <laughs> this task. We need to arrange a meeting between her and Hamlet. Mm. Well, hmm. Farewell. So every time loop, would you need to go back and like fulfill the conditions of making Lady Brit like you in order to get into the Queen's Chambers? No. Okay. Uh, we're most of the time uh, for specific actions, you will get to a point where you can uh, work around whatever series of, of tasks you had to undertake. Got it. So you can like find the key before she picks it up or something. Yes. Got it. So Hamlet is upset for some reason, mm-hmm. um, and we can't talk to him. So, but I I need to tell him that Britt wants to talk to him, and now Claudius is here for some reason. <laughs> Let me sneak over here in this corner real quick. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, they've arranged a meeting. Of course. Hmm. Murderer. Uh oh. Is the trusted witness a ghost? Uh. What? 
I, I, I don't know, Why? right? I think it might be. I, he also might be referring to us, right? I think this is happening because we told Hamlet that we also know that Claudius is a murderer or, like, you know, suspect there's a murderer about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Claudius is just like, I knew this day would come. Mercy. Yeah, there's a lot of the Sims and the kind of uh, emotive design of these characters, too. Mm-hmm. Which is good. I'm not, I, to be clear, I'm not saying, oh, they ripped off the Sims, but they, like, learned good lessons from the Sims about how to communicate broad emotion. Mm-hmm. Wow. We've got the, the offer. Mm-hmm. I swear it. Claudius feels real bad. It's true. So it's just the plot of Hamlet done, right? I mean, basically. Hmm. I... <laughs> I find your offer intriguing. Nephew. <laughs> Nephew. Yes. Of course. <laughs> you see that over there? I stole it. Yeah. Claudius um, also reacted, uh, not, did not react actually to, uh, Hamlet's news that he met a ghost. Sometimes I'm meeting ghosts. I mean, in this day and age, mm -hmm. who's not meeting ghosts? <laughs> oh, oh, shit! So yeah, plot That's of Hamlet, terrible. done. <laughs> R.I.P. Pepperoni and cheese, cheese. Cool. Well, <sighs> throw him in that fire then. <laughs> Hamlet becomes upset, but will recover overnight? Yep. What are you going to do with that body? And also... Boop. Ah, uh, but he's not going to be able to do it. Like, we're not going to be able to talk to him. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, so let's listen to this announcement. Oh, a state of emergency. Someone called Giorgio Agamben. Mm-hmm. Okay. The king is dead. A tragic accident. He stabbed him in the back. I cannot believe it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, Hamlet did just murder Claudius, but uh, no one seems to know that. Like, that seems to have happened secretly. We were just the witnesses. Uh, and now, so so Hamlet is basically acting regent now. Well, it seems like we can, you know, dust our hands together and, and go back to whatever the hell we were doing before. Like, yeah. Plot over. Congratulations. Mm hmm. Hmm. Horatio educates Hamlet about the future before him. Why would I care mm -hmm. about that? Oh. Ophelia. Word in private. <clears throat> I murdered my <laughs> my my dad, uncle, my duncle. I and it's just like just in case you didn't see this thing where you were hiding in the corner. I want to tell you about it. So that that scene, even though you set it in motion, would have happened no matter what, even if you weren't there. Right. There would have been a herald, um, and then I would have been asked if I wanted to to see the announcement. Now here's Hamlet again, uh, trying to be like, hey, remember when you broke up with me? Like, was that for real? Hmm. Hmm. The forces at work in Elsinore. Some sort of fifth character. <laughs> Elsinore. So Ophelia's trying to sort of hammer the class difference and, ham and Hamlet's like, I, I'm, I'm literally going to be king. I can marry who I want. Yes. Mm -hmm. Dang. That's a little, little sad boy. Mm-hmm. Hamlet. Dang. They have a bad relationship. They do. Yes. They they straight up do. 
Why can't she leave? Uh, like leave the castle? Yeah, could she? Like, what What do you mean? Do you mean like within the context of the game, or like within sort of like the narrative? Within within the within the narrative, within the story, within the fabula. Uh, within the fabula, she is like sixteen years old, and the do it. and the 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 daughter of the king's primary advisor. Oh, shall we shall we uh, rekindle the relationship with Hamlet? Yes, absolutely. I already said yes, Hamlet. I don't forgive you for all the mean things you said, but uh, I really like the idea of being queen. Mm -hmm. So really, she can't leave just like uh, due to to family and legality, not right. Like she's I not mean, imprisoned or anything. No, 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 no. I she see. just uh, does not have much in the way of autonomy, right? Mm -hmm. Like women. I mean, in in Shakespeare's time, right? Like women were especially. Mm -hmm young girls were sort of understood to to be in some sense like the the legal property of their fathers mm -hmm. I... yeah absolutely but you could get married to someone else and she could leave that way oh. yes got it wait <laughs> <laughs> thought to action on your book what a future event how he will rule. Mm hmm. This game's really giving you the world state all it, the time. It, it, it does. Um, oh, and I, I like don't that. think we get uh, to see some of the things that are being teased here because the, 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 the clockwork of the game starts going in directions that I am not aware of and not anticipating. So. Well, that's a good, I mean, it's a good piece of information to know in, in that, like, the the game flows in such a way that you can't see everything mm -hmm. or if it, or you need uh better information going in into the scenes i guess mm -hmm. yeah look there's just all kinds of stuff happening at one time you gotta choose yep the game and like what choices. i what i want is to figure out how to get into gertrude's chambers because we will want to be in there for later we'll we'll pick up some some information we can use in future playthroughs but because Hamlet has gone and killed Claudius, uh, I can't really arrange me like Hamlet meeting Brit, which is what I'll need to do in order to figure out how to get into Gertrude's room and so on and so forth. Hmm. So I'm just trying to I'm waiting. I'm trying to wait for things to sort of move into a, a state where I can actually do what I want. And what we're watching you do right now is just frustrated, <laughs> like clicking to see what the hell is happening. Yeah, I got got bored, decided to go see what's going on in the chapel here. Uh, Bernardo is praying. What kind of religion they got over there? Catholicism? <laughs> uh, well, in Hamlet, it's it's famously vague. Uh, hmm. On the one hand, Hamlet's father's ghost uh, says that he didn't get shriven before he hmm. died, which is hmm. very Catholic, but Hamlet uh, is going to school in Wittenberg, which oh, is man. synonymous with Protestantism at this point. Uh Basically, it's Christianity, right? But uh, one of the most famous sort of like critical cruxes in Hamlet is the way that the world is simultaneously Catholic and Protestant. Mm. So if you were part of either of those groups, you could be like, oh, ha, ha. Mm -hmm. Everybody's hanging out together. Oh, wait, they're hanging out anyway. Yeah. And by the time I get to him, he's already moved to his room. And I still can't talk to him. He's still devastated. He wasn't too devastated to talk to your mortal enemy, though. Right. Damn, Ham. Come on. Yeah, so let's get educated about the future. Is this when he's going to talk about the heaven and earth ratio? And all your stars and garters or whatever? <laughs> no, that uh, happens uh, subsequent to the meeting with the ghost. Which has already happened. Yeah, we don't even get to see that. Uh, don't worry, we're going to have we're going to have a moment with the ghost eventually. <laughs> Ratio use game. And as her like Horatio is is just saying, look at this! Like literally, the plot's over. Like you finished Hamlet, Hamlet. 
But it turns out Hamlet is still depressed. Oh. I never wanted to be king. I'm Hamlet. <laughs> Nothing's good enough for me. <laughs> He's like a spoiled little boy. Hamlet. Horatio's image bothers me because it looks like his ear is oh. just floating in his head. <laughs> oh, I had never even noticed that before, but now I see it. I guess he's just got long hair and it's combed back, but... Yeah. Looks like it's, it's adhesed to the side of his head. I don't deserve you. <gasps> BFFs. Are they best mm -hmm. friends? Yes, essentially. Mm -hmm. That's why he was talking about the stars and garters with him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> cannot believe in your own heart believe in my good taste signs of a well-functioning monarchical state yeah really, thanks so he's kind of his uh not informant but uh like advisor now yes hmm. <laughs> one of the few times the game acknowledges that you're standing in the room <laughs> oh yeah just happened to be here, huh? Yeah. I'm still on that throne. I will. Hamlet get on that throne. Farewell. Hamlet feels a lot perkier about being king now. I would also feel perky if I were going to be king. I notice you have no interest in what Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are, into, are up to. No, no. Um, not, not at the moment, at least. Damn, and nothing happens overnight? Yeah, no, uh, things are things are kind of cleared out. Oh wait, but things could be happening you just don't know about yet, right? Right, right, right. Things uh, things that I have uh, sort of knowledge of uh, are get, get marked on the timeline. Got it. Like someone's uh, having a conversation over there, and you can see the the, the, the toggle was stuck in the corner of the screen. And you had no interest in that. Tell us about Lady Brockenhoos. Yeah. Is that a character from the play? Uh, no, that's Brit. Hmm. Oh, I thought that was her ancestor. I mis misunderstood. <sighs> Give her some space. <laughs> <gasps> so, yeah, this is Ophelia sort of, you know, an aside. Uh, this is how the game tells you that you could have done something here, but you've, you know, missed missed the boat, essentially. Gosh, I feel like I need a sheet of paper. Did you play this game with like a sheet of paper or a notepad? Uh, yes. Hamlet is just running around monologuing. Yep. Like, all the time. Yep, he's like, even though even though he solved all of the problems of Hamlet the play, he's still <laughs> monologuing. <laughs> Jeez, Ophelia. <laughs> well, this is an interesting question I have, I guess, now, is that is the uh, reality of the play, is it an alternate universe, or is that the universe that we are trying to navigate our way to? Meaning, meaning are, are we, is the point of the game to get us toward consonance with the published play or mm -hmm. to make everyone have like the best ending possible? So um, this is an interesting thing about this game, right? Uh, when I uh, uh, wrote about um, Hamlet video games with my colleague, Matthew Harrison, the essay is called uh, South of Elsinore, Actions That a Man Might Play. We talk about Hamlet video games and the the tension and adaptation for Hamlet as a story. Now we're going to listen to Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. Um, uh, the the tension is, you know, do we want people to like make Hamlet quote unquote happen? Right? Is 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 it that that kind of adaptation, as you say, like conforming with the story, or do we diverge from the story? Uh, both of those things end up being goals in this game, is how I'll put it. Sorry. Because it's it's not quite clear, you know, at, even at this point, which one we're aiming for, and that would really change the way we play the game. I think. Mm -hmm. I mean, right now, like you know, we have no choice. Uh, like we could not make this conform to the play because we die too early. Correct. Correct. 
correct. Yeah. Right, like, so that's sort of, like, goal number one is remove that impediment, um, and then other things can happen. Was there a reason you weren't talking to Lady Brit there? No, it's the same conversation of her, I think, looking at the portraits. I'm waiting for friggin' yeah. Quince. Oh yeah, she's trying to save her own dad too, I guess. Mm hmm Father. She's got a cool room. Uh. Got a knife over there, got a dagger, got some letters, got a bunch of piled up crap. Got a coffee cup. <laughs> yeah, so this is one of the knock-on effects. Because uh Hamlet decided to kill Claudius early, he is not going to uh kill Polonius in a fit of pique now. Oh, we're learning about Ophelia's mom. That's a, her portrait there on the wall. Oh, yeah. Not that mermaid over there. No. The woman up on the wall. My love. That mermaid has gotten a lot of screen time <laughs> in this game so far. She's just, she's just hanging out. Oh, yes. That does sound nice. Father. Hmm. Must be why I'm right here. Look at me. Don't cry. Why would you fret? I think a good game would be um, a game where you are trying to convince other people that you're in a time loop <laughs> to like con them. That could be a fun video game. To, to oh to con them. I thought you said yeah. calm them. To con well that too. You know, I know things are going to work out because I've lived through this before 10 billion times. <laughs> this is an important piece of information. Uh, yeah. Polonius is telling us he has a key that opens a, a private chest of his with some important documents in it. If he ever dies, we have to take the key, open the chest, and burn everything in the safe. And that's why you need to be able to get into the Queen's Chambers... To get the key off his body. Yeah. I did it. Uh, uh, actually, is that what we have to do? No, mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Like, we we need something else out of Gertrude's chambers, and unfortunately, we're not just we're just not going to get it in this video because Hamlet went and killed uh went and killed Claudius. Mm -hmm. So on the next one, yeah, you'll prevent that from happening. Mm -hmm. It's a real video game sentence. <laughs> if I can just forget, or, you know, if I can just figure out who's murdering me. Hmm, Ophelia now believes that fates can be changed. That's a big one. Yep. Okay. So now let's go talk to Quince. Quince. Welcome. He also, uh, and I think this is just Boring. like a species resemblance, but he looks like um, Tingle, too. Yeah, he does. He's got that elfin look. Ah, he, Ovid's Pyramus at Thisbe. Who do you suppose that half-rate bard who stole that story oh. was? Hmm. Maybe the bard himself? Mm-hmm. Yep, Pyramus and Thisbe, uh, one of what the sources fun. for Romeo and Juliet. Oh. I thought it was going to be a uh, counterweight. <laughs> ah. Different bard. Mm hmm. Why? Hey, Quince, why are you so nefarious? Jeez. What? Yeah, so you remember uh, last time there was the play that he performs that Hamlet asks him to put on in order to, to make Claudius uh, confess his guilt? Mm hmm. We can now change the content of that play if we want to, which will have different effects on other people. So uh, things are getting very sparse now. We had one event up there that was a little blue X, which means it's not going to happen, right? It was something that I knew about or was told about, um, but cannot happen based on the conditions of the timeline. Hmm. Yeah, so can we arrest Quince? I mean, he's evil, right? 
Yeah, yeah, no, that's uh, uh, what we are up to right now. I'm sort of checking out my options, but uh, we are 100% reporting Quince yeah. right now. All is well. Hmm. It's an ongoing investigation. We can't reveal any details of that. Mm -hmm. Farewell. Later. He's got a real cronk voice. <laughs> So you can see the little blue tab for changing the play. But yeah, uh, now we're gonna tell we're gonna tell uh, Quince to go to the cops. Of course. <laughs> little does Quince know that we have a time jail. <laughs> now we have to wait for him to follow us. Clementine? Clementine. Let's talk to Clementine. She's a great Dane, you know, because we're in Denmark. Are they from there? I also, I don't know. I also, guess. That, Why would they call them Great Danes uh, otherwise? That is not what a Great Dane yes. looks like. Now then. I'm just letting everybody know. Uh, now maybe it's a Greyhound. It might be a Greyhound. That's closer. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's see what's going Never. on here. Where's Quince from? Is he from Denmark? Well, uh, Quince would be an English name, but the play he is from is set in Athens. Mm-hmm, that'll do it. Uh-huh. I see. So this is what Quince was just like, yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not that suspicious, and in fact, I can use my, my plays to catch criminals. So. Cool. Yeah, but, like, that does not mean he's uh, been arrested or anything. Uh, he's he's still walking free. Is there some sort of Batman in this game? Like, some sort of Avenger of Crime? Uh, we can become that to an extent. And now we've entered into a, a very strange sort of space where I am running out of time for the game itself. Um, like, to do, yeah, here we are. Mm. Bam. Bye, so, Ophelia. So Claudius is not the murderer because Claudius is dead. Mm -hmm. Dang. To me, you are nothing. So who doesn't like Ophelia? Mm hmm. And the hooded figure is not the time limit. Uh, no, the hooded figure is. They say the same thing every time. But do they know Ophelia. that Ophelia. I'm coming back is what I'm saying, right? Like, you would think if they were a part of the, t you know, they were aware of the time loop, they would be like, coming back to murder you one more time, bud. Oh, Why? yes, yes, yes. Okay, I get what you mean, right? They don't know they're in the time loop, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So probably not Quince. Probably not. Hmm. Not so, uh, not Quince. Here we are at the start of a new loop. Um, and we'll, we, got, we can die instantly now if we want to, to reset. And otherwise, uh, I guess we'll probably see you next time. Goodbye. This is, yeah. <laughs>